Hello everyone, this is the 2009-2010 TTXGP eSpeed Jixer conversion. I'm going to show you how far I've gotten right now. The uh, Everything's basically installed power-wise uh, other than the motor and a few other small components. But I'm going to show you how to turn the bike on real quick. First we hold this button right here which is the pre-charge. This sends a small amount of electricity to the speed controller capacitors. You can notice up here You'll watch the voltage build up on the cycle analyst. It's at 42, 44, 45, and rising. Once it reaches about 50, a little bit over 50 volts, we can click the contactor over. The click you just heard was the contactor clicking over. You can see it's at 79.9 volts right now. This is a full charge. The TTX GP race motorcycle also is equipped with a key to keep any theft or anything else from happening. Once the key is turned, it turns the 12 volt system on. The blue light indicates that the bike is active, the speed controller is on, and the bike is ready to move. This is a warning that anytime this throttle is activated or twisted, the bike is going to move. Obviously right now it won't without a motor installed. I'll bring you around the bike to show you everything else. We've got the running lights in the front activated. These are also activated by the turn signal switch. And the headlight switch right here turns the main HID low beam on. And the high beam is the lower, bu lower bulb down there. These are both activated small uh, indicator lights in the dash here. These indicator lights also control when uh, tell you when the lights are on or off. In the back here, tail lights up and running, turn signals are running and everything. This switch in the back is required by the new TTXGP rules. They require you to have two contactor switches, one in the front and one in the rear. This is the basic bike as it is right now. It's only got a few more weeks of construction before it's all said and done. Keep tuned on my website. Thanks.